Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today we're going to be checking out the Dark Base Pro 900 Revolution 2. And of course, this is a, I believe, a full tower ATX case um, that's got a wide range of features. So, unlike most YouTubers, I like to actually do a couple things in my reviews. Um, the first thing is um, actually building the system. Now, uh, most of the cases that I review, I actually have them done. Um, I'm actually building them for somebody, so therefore, I build like a wide assortment of parts in there, and I kind of get some uh, modern hardware. Um, but rather, for today's video, I'm using some of my secondary hardware. So um, I'm still going to be building in there to tell you guys how what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Of course, that'll be on the video. Um, but I really like to make sure that I build in the system or build in the case, for example, because it's hard for a person to tell you, you know, the case looks nice, which is something obviously you can judge from yourself. Um, also hard for, you know, temperatures and other things as well as sound to be judged through a video. So obviously I like to tell you guys um, what it's like to build in the system because ultimately that's really what it comes down to. And also go through and do some of the testing and be like, you know, hey, it sounds uh, pretty good. Obviously Be Quiet has a good reputation for that, so we're going to get started with the unboxing, then I'm going to go through and build on the system, and I'll go over kind of the overall pros and cons about it. Um, so, instead of telling you it looks nice, we're just going to go about and get into it. Okay, so welcome back. Let's get into the unboxing. I've got my trusty pair of scissors, and uh, let's get going, shall we? So, um, obviously this box is a little bit messed up, and that was probably from shipping. It does look like it's been like, I don't know, it looks like it was like, I don't know. Someone, someone clearly had a fun time with some clay or something. Oh, dang. Okay, so, first off, instead of getting a plastic bag to cover your case, you get yourself a cloth bag, which, that just shows quality, I don't know what else will. So, that's the first time I actually, and to be fair, I've done plenty of case unboxings and I've never had a cloth bag, so that's definitely um, a first. The packaging is quite uh, extensive, let's see if I can just lift this up like this. So don't like okay. So here we are. Um, let's start by looking this up this way. This is also quite a heavy case. Not gonna lie. I believe this is the top. So. Bring the sucker up. Okay. Quite a heavy uh, case, I'm not gonna lie there. And over. So what we got here, we got a book. We got a book for the Dark Base Pro 900. Uh, obviously, that's kind of what we've already expected. Hopefully, they had one of those. Let's take the cloth off. Let's see what we got here. So, let's see what we got. I might get this cloth off. So, let's get this off real quick. Ooh! I gotta say, that looks very nice. Not gonna lie. Oh, dang. It's got some static on it. So there's a door, oh wow. Okay, so let's put this over here first. So, does this click in? Yeah, it does, okay. So this has got a click in door, solid like aluminum, like, don't get me started on there. That's pretty, It's the door clicks in. Okay, so we got sound padding here. Wow, okay. So we've got a lot of stuff. Let's, let me flip this around so y'all aren't staring. Okay, sorry about that. The uh, cameras, for some reason, didn't like it so much. Okay, so let's first take a look at what we got here. So on the back, we've got, um, looks like they've made room for the power supply so you can rotate it different ways. If I believe correctly, this case allows you to rotate it um, so that you have your, um, I don't want to get fingerprints on it. Um, but um, it allows you to rotate the whole orientation of your computer the opposite way. Um, pretty unique feature, um, and especially for a high-end case like this, is something you would... Um, expect at least in the high-end um, options. Okay, let's so first off, let's see what we got on this side. So I might take off this glass panel first um, to see what we got here. 
I don't want to drop the glass panel. This looks like it's a pretty, um, A, nice glass panel, and B, a uh, large. Like, this is pretty substantial. i put this here. Hopefully they've made it so it doesn't completely shatter when it comes off. I don't want it to, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, let's see what we got. This is kind of heavy as well. Okay. Put this down on the couch over here so we don't run into any issues. Okay, what we got here? So, inside, we've got, of course, the, uh, all the standoffs in pre-ATX position. We've got ourselves um, a really nice um, fan in the back, um, venting out air. What else do we got up on top? So let's first off take out these uh, these boxes um, and figure out what we got inside. So I believe this is, they've labeled it pretty clearly, so let's see what we got from there. So we got some LED strips. Let's see what these are like. Um, are these nice high quality ones or are they, um, I guess, regular mediocre LED strips is the proper word. So what we got here? Oh no, we've got not just any LED strips. We've got LED strips that I've never actually, these are officially Be Quiet branded LED strips. And so unlike most LED strips that I've worked with before, if you've seen any of my builds, they've got the LED strips that um, in which um, they're basically rubber and they stick on there. Now these have multiple, um, these are actually hard um, PCB LED strips that can sit anywhere. So those are really nice. Good job for them. <clears throat> Let's see what we got in this big box right here. So this is ultimately what is coming down to. We all want to know is inside of here. So accessories. Let's get this out here too. I probably should make a pile of everything. So inside here we've got supposedly accessories. This is surprisingly also kind of heavy. So interesting there. So what do we got inside of here? Open the sucker up, and we've got all the drive bays. <clears throat> so I'm going to set this over there as well. So we've got all the drive bays. Um, we've got one drive bay. Um, with the, of course, it's accompanying, accompanying, accompanying accessories. Okay, I can't talk today. Um, we've got a bunch of extra screws. We've got some... I don't even know what this is for. This might... I think that pops in there. The, okay. Um, got some SSD slots. Um, another drive bay, and I believe these go here, I believe so, and we've got a bunch of stuff as well, and then we got another drive bay, so we got three drive bays um, all in here, so I'll put this to the side now. So right off the bat, that's a pretty nice um, case, I believe actually some of these go in the bottom, that's probably where the SSD goes. So they've made it so it's all like modular and stuff, which is really, really nice. Um, <clears throat> so let's take the back off now, um, rotate this around quick, which is actually surprisingly a lot lighter now that the glass is off. <clears throat> so supposedly, this is supposed to allow you to um, rotate the whole case orientation around. So here's what you're looking at from the back. Um, you've got yourself some places to mount hard drives in here, um, I believe that's what that's for. Um, and that's basically a nice spot because it's hidden underneath the PSU shroud. Um, we've got some different stuff. We've got a fan controller here. Um, it's actually a pretty nice fan controller, not gonna lie. It's got switches and stuff for modes. Um, there's a random USB cable back here. I don't know um, what exactly that's for, but because um, I don't think any of the stuff's been connected yet, so that's why I say that. Because um, all the USB strips are, or the LED strips are over here, so I don't know. Is there other, any LED lights somewhere else that I'm missing? Um, don't believe so. Um, <clears throat> so what we got in the front, we got USB 3.0 in the front, um, I don't recognize the name on that, um, but I think that's USB, I think just regular USB, I've never seen a, it labeled that way. Um, we got a door on the front, door on the front actually looks pretty nice, so we got a, of course, um, a screen for catching dust, actually surprisingly I think this should come out pretty easily. Oh yeah, look at that, nice easy cleaning options. As well, you've got options for your um, disk drives as well. Um, only two of them, but I think that's um, what you'd expect, especially from a high-end system like this. Um, and honestly, I'm actually glad they put them in there because a lot of the high-end system, high-end users, actually end up needing those drives for some of the older software, which is of course very nice as well. So looking over it, it looks really, really nice. I'm actually excited to build on this. So what I'm going to do now is 
I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna get ready to build something in here. I'll uh, probably clean it up a little bit. Put everything together and we'll get a build out of it. So uh, of course, thank you for watching so far. Let's get into the build process and then we'll go from there and kind of do a judgment off of the case process. Okay, so now it's time for the build process section of this video. Um, basically what I'll do is I'll go through, I have some hardware here. Um, this is actually going to be an interesting bit of hardware as well. Um, this is basically going to serve as a server um, and I'm basically just going to build a build with this, uh, kind of give some opinions of the build process, how easy it is, and then we'll come back again for what I like and what I don't like about it. And then of course enjoy this time lapse of basically me building. So let's get into it. Okay, so welcome back, and originally I had planned for this project to only take a day and actually publish the video for yesterday, and uh, this has ended up being a little bit more of an undertaking than I originally thought. Um, so first off, um, this case is very unique um, in a couple ways. First off, the way that this whole case is designed, um, most cases um, previously that I built in, and whether it be from you know 50 to 150 dollar up to like $200 um, price range, those have really been based around kind of a one size fits all. You really can't change up a lot. And this case is supposedly um, built around the fact that you can change up a lot of stuff, you can re change the orientation, and so there's a lot more assembly and disassembly involved in, you know, getting things just right. And that was a lot, um, I really wasn't expecting that, and it was a little bit more, um, you know, you have to really get in there and take apart and get exactly what you want. And it's great because it's you get exactly what you want, but then again, you don't necessarily, um, I don't know how to put right, what's the right way to put this? It's very complicated to do that, um, which is what you'd expect for a, a high-level uh, enthusiast-grade um, case. And honestly, this case is quite quiet, um, and 
you know, compared to that case back there, it's substantially quieter because that thing's got a whole bunch of fans in there and that's blasting. Um, so this is actually relatively quiet. And of course, this is less fans as well to keep that in mind. Um, so some of the things that were um, interesting, um, getting the power supply in was quite interesting. Um, I had to take a... I, I, the first off, the manual wasn't too helpful with a lot of like the, the basic stuff. Um, like just, you know, putting the power supply in, I ended up taking off the um, PSU shroud. I did a lot of things trying to figure out how to do things, and it was took a good bit of time to figure it out. Um, other thing is, I did end up adding, um, or adding the, um, removing the disc bays, and instead adding, like, support for fans all the way up. So if I ever want to add liquid cooling in here, um, this will probably end up being a liquid cooling test system at some point in the future. Um, then... Of course, I've got all that options up there. It's got a lot of fan support, so this sucker is definitely good for, like, uh, liquid cooling. Um, it's actually substantially good for liquid cooling, so I'm really excited to get into that, um, whenever that be in the future. Um, also, there was, a you know, a wide range of interesting uh, ways that they've done some of this stuff. Um, and a lot of this stuff, um, I don't know, what's the right way to put this? It's just interesting, it's, like, very unique in the sense that it's, you know, first off, it came with LED lights, and if you're unfamiliar, no case that a built-in before came with LED lights, and these are not crappy LED lights, these are PCB, um, LEDs soldered on, or LEDs soldered onto the PCB, and it's a solid strip, and so that's really nice, um, the adhesive is good, and they, you know, look nice as well. Um, yeah, other than that, though, this was quite an interesting system to build in. Um, you've got the ability to take off the PSU shroud, you've got the ability to do a lot of things that you normally don't get um, in a regular cons consumer case, um, a little bit lower down the price stack. So now we've got to weigh this question. This case comes in at $250. Um, and honestly, you know, before everybody asks about how I get this hardware, um, I'm just going to take a quick moment to say, um, this is the first case that I've ever gotten for free. Um, this is something that I've gotten... Um, they mailed it to me, I got this to review. Um, and I feel that's something to disclose because, you know, whether or not you're watching this video, I try to be an honest person, and I feel like that's something that you that should know from my judgment. Um, for 250 bucks, though, I, I, I mean, it's very unique in the sense that it allows a lot of the customability, but for the average person that, like, just wants something that looks nice, I just, I don't see the, the value in paying that. I mean, if you're really looking for something with a custom loop and stuff, this is great for that. It's got all the support for that. But for the average person, A, that's got a mid-range to a low-end budget, this has, A, no value in there because you physic there's no use for having all this custom ability when you're not even going to use it for liquid cooling or you're not going to use it um, for, like, an extended ATX motherboard or anything like that doesn't have any practical use, which is obviously why this is priced so high because it's supposed to be for the high-end users that want a lot of custom ability. Now, for looks, on the other hand, I mean, it definitely looks very nice. And I think it looks a lot more of the, how do I say this, workstation style. Um, it looks a lot more um, something you could put in the office. You could do some liquid cooling, or you could not, and it still would look good either way. Um, as for, like, my personal opinion, though, I still love my thermal take case back here. I love it with a passion, and that I actually paid for. And I think that was, like, 160 bucks. But I love that just because it looks like a glass, you know, it's glass everywhere, it looks nice, and that's my style, and so I can't, you know, when you're watching these videos, you should really judge looks off of what you think, because my personal opinion is, this does not look the same as that, and I would choose that over it. Whether, you know, there is a, a little bit of a price difference, and obviously that case has nowhere near the capabilities of customability that this has, um, and this definitely has a lot more quiet, you know, being definitely more quiet, it's got a lot of other features, but for me, um, I just go over looks rather than sound because I don't mind a little bit more of the sound back there and I don't need the custom ability currently um, in what I'm doing. Obviously this will be eventually a liquid cooling um, system and that's what I've already decided. This is by far amazing for all the support it has. Um, it's got all the different uh, radiator support so I'm really going to end up using this for liquid cooling or um, you know for extended workstation builds. There's a lot of things I can use this for in the future um, but as for just the fact that this is has a lot more custom ability than any other case that I have. I'm definitely keeping it around uh, so I could use it in the future. And I think that's what it's really aimed at. So if you're interested in this, you really got to take into account what do you need from it. Do you need something that's really custom but oh boy, customizable where you've got the, you know, extended ATX motherboard, liquid cooling, all these options, or are you looking for something that's just a regular case? Maybe have an AIO in there. 
low RGB. And also, one thing to keep into account as well is, as I said, this is a full tower ATX case. So, um, like this one back here, it's huge. And obviously, another thing to keep in mind is if you're in a mid-range budget, do you really want something huge on your desk or do you want something small or just a regular um, mid-ATX case? So, those are my thoughts of it. Honestly, overall, the build is very high quality. That's not... Obviously, when you get into this price stack, um, you're really expecting high quality, and they did not disappoint here. I mean, I could have personally gone for maybe one more fan on the front, um, and maybe having the, the layout that I have now stock, because the disk drives have kind of become uh, out of date, really. Uh, I haven't really built a system for, like, the last guys that I've, last couple guys, 20 so guys that I've built for. They haven't used the disk drive, so I think it would be a better to have it change stocks, so it's a little less confusing for people that just want to play and build at the start. Um, and then... Maybe one more fan up the front on that would be um, a little bit better for airflow. As for airflow though, it is pretty cool um, and it keeps it nice and chilly, um, but honestly, it's just very, very quiet and that's nice and that's what you're expecting. But overall, I, I think the price, it really depends on the person and I can't give an overall blanket statement. You just really got to consider what you are um, expecting from a computer case. And obviously this looks nice, it looks professional, and I definitely think it could fit into an office or a home setting, especially with the silver accents. So obviously that's up to you. But I want to say a very, very, very thank you much um, to uh, Be Quiet um, for them uh, to give me this case, uh, you know, to review. I'll be able to use it and stuff. Um, obviously I, I like to distinguish that, you know, I appreciate this, um, especially when companies do this. I like to, you know, it gives me content. Um, and I do appreciate it, and I try to give my honest opinion. I hope people value that, um, and I've, you know, tried to do that this whole little YouTube channel. It's amazing that I'm finally getting cool stuff that I can use for future projects. Whether or not be it now, um, you know, at least put it to use somewhere else in the future, which is exciting. Um, but thank you very much for tuning in and watching. I really appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the ones that make this kind of stuff possible and all the cool projects that I'll be able to do in the near future. But thank you very much. Um, have a good day, and check out my channel for other cool tech-related news, reviews, builds, etc. And as always, goodbye.